So the brand new War Tycoon update is finally out, featuring one of the most content we have ever seen in such a long time. And in today's video, guys, I will first up be going for all of this content with a little bit of detail, and then after that, I will be showing you guys some of the most efficient grinding strategies, but maybe even simple ways in order to get the T-14 Armada. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. Checking out the update log, we have something posted by Kismotech. The T-14 Armada and daily rewards is out. So the first reward is the T-40 Armada, of course unlocks at 6 rebirths, new BTR-80 daily rewards, new VCAC Mephisto daily rewards, new MP-7, AK-12, Sage 12k, USP-45, again in the daily rewards, the new OKP-7 gun scope only compatible with sound weapons, and of course the daily rewards. <laughs> Checking out the first vehicle of the update, which is going to be the T-14 Armada, it is the next generation Russian MBT with immense firepower, 125mm cannon and the explosive machine gun. Along with this it would cost you guys one part of the engine, two parts for the uh, base and one and two parts for the cannon. And this is the tank as you guys can see right here. It does also deliver us a small screen and it does have roughly the same health as the Abrams X and the T90 and it is now ranked at the second most powerful tank in the game closely next to the Abrams X. The next detail which I would like to highlight is that again there are two new vehicles, the first one being the BTR-80 which let me explain to you guys exactly what it does. Russian APC with driver control turret, 30mm explosive machine gun, 7.62mm machine gun, it is 2 bars out of speed, 3 bars of health and 2 bars of firepower. Now the VCAC Mephisto, French anti-tank combat vehicle, it only can have 2 heels seated, it's 3 bars out of speed, 2 out of health and two firepower but I do believe it should actually be free firepower because it does actually have a similar missiles to Bradley in terms of damage. Again, once you guys unlock all of the four weapons, they will be placed inside of your base rather than any bunkers or buildings, which is definitely going to be very handful if you guys need it once you respawn. Now jumping into the last and most important feature of this update is of course how to get the T-14 Armada and this challenge that the T-14 actually possesses which you guys would need to complete is going to be collect 12 oil barrels from oil rigs or warehouses and this challenge actually will be proved to be incredibly difficult which is one of the problems that many players are currently facing so here are some strategies which I currently have in mind to make your experience easier first off if you do have any friends that would be willing to help you guys out in order to collect the oil barrels you definitely will need them there once you are waiting for the oil barrels to respawn the second thing which I would like to highlight is that there will definitely be a lot of people attacking the oil barrels and they will definitely not want you guys to collect them because they would like to collect them themselves. So one of the vehicles to transport the oil barrels which I would like to recommend is going to be the Super Stallion which is probably the best one out of all of them of course due to its high durability being able to tank a tank show and really the uh, default uh, one which is the it's going to be the Lakota. I do believe it's not going to be the most helpful one because it is very easy to first up kill with any anti-air weapons but also it's just super easy to kill with a plane and everything because it has such low durability. And Another thing which I would like to highlight of some of the best strategies to grind is actually get yourself an own private server in which you guys would need to have up to three or four players I believe which would definitely make your experience easier and the wait time of the oil barrels is definitely gonna be long so you guys would definitely have to stay patient but also if you do have any alternative accounts that could also help you out because at the end of the day it, you guys would definitely be spending a long time if you are willing to just grind it on your own. But yeah, the average wait time for probably getting this vehicle while also waiting for the oil rigs, I believe you guys would have to be AFK for around 6 to 7 hours and constantly be watching over when the oil barrels are coming in. And I'm of course counting the uh, chances that you guys would be forced uh, to not get an oil barrel because somebody else is attacking you and everything like that. Anyway, there isn't really a special alternative way in order to get all the new uh, daily rewards early except for choosing the Robux option, therefore I do not have any tips for you guys. In if you'd like to actually make these purchases you guys would have to spend 2,900 robux which is not the best number however if you are really willing to 
get these vehicles fast, I definitely recommend it. Anyway guys, that's all I have for this update and I'll also be making a special video on the T14 versus the Abrams X tomorrow or even today so make sure to stay notified for more videos just like this one and I'll also be speaking of few new mechanics that were added in separate videos as well because there's too much to speak of in this one. Again, I'll see you guys next video, have a great rest of your amazing day and enjoy this update.